Hey everyone, I'm Olivia Vivian and welcome to five steps to learn and hold a handstand. With 20 years of gymnastics in my back pocket and a flair to show off, I want to share my knowledge to make sure your handstand journey is safe and progressive and open you up to a life lived upside down. In this YouTube video, I'm going to cover the five easiest steps to help you learn and hold a handstand in a way that is safe on your muscles and joints and involves an alignment that allows you to balance for as long as possible. These steps include mobility in the wrists and shoulders, strength in our upper body and core muscles, safety and falling out of your handstand, handstand conditioning to build the correct alignment and orientation upside down, balance conditioning to help strengthen those fingers and help you hold a nice tight handstand. Let's start with mobility. Quite commonly, the reason people struggle to learn and hold a handstand is due to poor wrist and shoulder mobility. The easiest way to hold a handstand is in a straight alignment. So if that perfect line is broken by angles in the shoulders and wrists, it becomes a lot more strength work to hold it. Whether it's your first day trying handstands or your 10th year, we always start with wrist and shoulder mobility in our warm up and should spend anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes, depending on your session goals. Start with shakes and circles to maximize blood flow before we start any activities on our hands and wrists. To further warm up our wrists, include weighted movements over the wrists, sitting back on our knees and feet if needed. Start with five to 10 circles in both directions. Your session should also include movements such as hand push-ups to the point where our palms are off the ground but our fingers remain. Repeat both of these exercises in a reversed hand direction, making sure our shoulders are on top of our wrists at all times. If you have poor wrist mobility, that is perfectly okay and much more common than you may think. We walk around on our feet all day but very few of us walk around on our hands. So it's normal not to start off with strong and flexible wrists. It just means you will need to spend much more time and longer on these exercises and include static stretching at the end to increase your range. Moving on to our shoulders, start with similar movements to increase blood flow such as shoulder circles and full arm circles. Progress on by placing your hands on a solid surface. Bend your knees, flatten your back and tuck your head in and try and push those shoulders down to the ground with small active bounces. To focus more acutely on our shoulders, without the strain on our elbows, tuck your head in, place your elbows on a raised solid surface and use a weight or household item to bounce in your hands closer to your head all while pushing those shoulders down to the ground. Similar to our wrists, if you're tight and lack mobility in your shoulder, spend extra time stretching statically to increase your level of progression in this area. Let's get into our strength work. If this is your first time trying to learn a handstand, it's important to know that being upside down for the first time on our hands takes baby steps. Just as if you were trying to walk for the first time, it requires strength in our arms, wrists, shoulders, back and core at the very least. So let's get into some progressions to help you handstand. Once your hands and wrists are warmed up and mobile, the perfect place to start is plank holds. It's a great exercise to build strength in all areas and we should be aiming for six sets of 30 second holds as beginners, building up to six sets of 60 seconds as that strength continues to improve. Key focus areas are tight legs, squeeze the glutes, activate your stomach, drawing it up into the ceiling, push tall through the shoulders and upper back and keep your shoulders over your wrists. For any added feature, you can start working that finger strength and try and grab the floor with your fingers. This will help down the track once you are advanced enough to start balancing your handstand. To further increase the strength moving upside down, Try inverted plank holds with your feet on a height. This will slowly build more strength and stability in those wrists and fingers. Another requirement for handstand is our core strength to prevent slumping and arching in our lower backs. 
Spend five to 10 minutes each day working on dish holds and small rocks to activate a tight core that you'll need upside down. Beginners should start with progressions from tuck holds to single leg holds until enough strength exists to hold a long, lengthy, tight, hollow body. Our last major focus with strength is our scapular push-ups. It's important in a handstand to be able to push tall and close off the gap between our shoulders and our ears. Start practicing on the ground and then add a couple of weighted objects as down the track we'll be working on these upside down using your own body weight. It's incredibly important to maintain good form throughout these exercises and keep yourself in check when you get fatigued and let your body slump or relax. If at any point up to now you find these exercises hard and physically challenging, keep your sessions focused on mobility and strength until you're ready to move on. As exciting as handstands are, they often take many months and years to master. So stay in tune with your body and resist the urge to overtrain, which may cause injury. It's also common for people to get sore wrists as these movements are often foreign for beginners. So give yourself permission to stay focused on your weak areas and understand it can be a slow process, but persistence is key. Before we start tipping upside down, it's important to learn safety and how to bail out in case you do fall over your hands. The safest way to fall out of a handstand is to twist and step down. This might be a foreign idea, so visualize yourself and this movement and start with small cartwheel kicks on the ground. Once you feel comfortable with the bail out plan, it's time to start conditioning your handstand. Before going upside down, let's break down your position and stand up against a wall. Toes and nose touching the wall. Squeeze your glutes and push your hips towards the wall. Suck in your core, round your chest, scapula push up with arms as straight and as tall as they'll go and try to pull your hands away from the wall and open your shoulders. Hold this position for 10 to 30 seconds, staying activated the whole time. This is the nice straight alignment you want to be working on for your handstand. Once you've mastered this position standing up, it's time to turn upside down and do it against the wall. Start in a frog squat with fingers facing away from the wall. Start walking your feet up the wall until your nose is close enough to touch the wall if you stare at it or go as far as you are comfortable going so you don't feel like you're going to fall over your hands. Once upside down, remember your activation keys. Push tall through the chest and shoulders, draw your stomach in and squeeze your glutes, opening your hips up towards the wall. Again, you should be aiming for 10 to 30 second holds in this position before you come down. Give yourself quality rest before your next attempt. Depending on your strength and experience with handstands, these sessions may take weeks or months until you start feeling comfortable and strong in this handstand alignment. So go at your own pace. Remember, this might be the first time your body is adjusting to all this blood flow in your head from being upside down. This is normal and it will just take time and numerous sessions to adjust. Our final step focuses on our balance, which is an advanced skill, so don't be too harsh on yourself if it takes you months to get here. You'll need a height to work with, so grab a chair or something similar height. Sit away from the chair in a piked position with feet touching the chair and mark where your hips are on the ground. This is where you'll place your fingers. Similar to the wall, Face your fingers away from the chair and place your feet up on top of the chair. Stack your alignment so your shoulders are over your wrists. Scapulas are activated. Push tall through the chest and lift one leg off straight as high as it will go. Push off our other leg starting with small low hops and build up to larger hops. Repeat on the other leg. This exercise will start strengthening your fingers and give your body a better sense of awareness and orientation upside down. Over time, you'll feel more confident pushing off higher and for longer as your balance strengthens. 
Finally, when you're ready, try kicking up to some handstands off the ground, starting with our hands already on the ground. Aim for that tight, aligned position we have just spent so much time conditioning and practice, practice, practice. I wish you all the very best in your handstand journey and if you found this video helpful then feel free to give it a like, click that subscribe button and if you have any other questions drop them down in the comment section below. Much love and happy handstands!